Hey guys, Rams here. Welcome to, we're gonna do another video. We did another video in the past, but we didn't upload it. It is our top 10 board games. Uh, we're gonna throw this up on multiple sites. Uh, these are games that only we play in our group. And um, so you're not gonna see Gloomhaven, Blood Rage, uh, uh, Twilight Imperium, none of like the, we, we don't play Monopoly or Uno. We, although there is Uno, probably on one of our lists here, one of these guys, mm -hmm. but we're gonna do our top 10. Top 10 board games, let's begin. All right, so now we're gonna do our honorable mentions. This is uh, not in our top 10, the number 11, the one that almost made it. A couple board games are just one game that almost made it. So Kevin's gonna go first. Mm -hmm. so, um, so my 11th uh, honorable mention, it will be Pandemic. And then uh, Marco? Right there, in front of you. Uno Attack? Marvel. Marvel's, uh, okay, yeah. so his is uh, Marvel. We got it right here. We're After this, we're gonna play, this is Marvel. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game. That's a a certain genre, but they say like this is the best one. So number eleven. Yep. Okay. And then my honorable mention. I have a couple. I'm just gonna Ooh. shoot them out here a little bit. Uh, this guy's not gonna like this, but For Sale. Uh, he loves For Sale. Yeah, yeah, it didn't get on the list. The it's because there's ten games that are much better that we played. And remember, these are games that only we played. Uh, when I dream. King of Tokyo and Bang the Dice Game, which the last time we did this video, it didn't get uploaded, but that was one of my top dogs. But uh, with Pandemic, this is just 10 games better. Every time we play these new games, it's way better. And it, some, some of these games are gonna get kicked off. So that was our honorable mention, and now we're gonna kick off in the top 10. All right, so number 10, we're going in order. Kevin will go first, Marco, and I'll go last. So Kevin, what was your number 10? All right, so my number 10 is the Bang the Dice Game. Ooh, okay. So I made it in the top 10. Mm -hmm. it, it's basically a shooting game that uh, you play as a sheriff or a, or an outlaw. Hit and roll. Hit and roll. Mm -hmm. And to win the game, uh, you have to kill uh, your opponent. Yeah, this one always depends. Uh, if you're a sheriff, you're going to know. Everyone knows who the sheriff is, and depending on you. Uh, we played this at a... Uh, we did a... There's an app called Meetup, and we went to a meetup. I brought this game. We played the full player, eight, eight player. And... Uh, they seemed kind of bored. I mean, when, when this one chick died right off the bat, she was on her phone, she, she kept felt, I felt like they were bored. But this one shines with six players, I think. Eight is a little much. I don't know, I, I think six, six is the best, but being the dice game made the top 10. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we played it uh, before we made that one video, but anyway, uh, Bang the dice game is number 10. You're number 10? Oh, uh, Uno Attack. Uno Attack, so I told you, uh, we play games, but sometimes the classics are the best, so Uno Attack? Describe it. Uh, it's basically Uno. That's it? <laughs> this guy's not good at the description. He just says it's fun, but that's true. It's fun. As yeah. we said in the last video we made, uh, it's all about having fun in the board games. So uh, or here. It, it went from uh, top 20 to top 10. Wow, okay, so, so Uno Attack. It's just Uno, uh, but you got that little thing where if you, if you have to draw, you don't draw. You just press the button yep. and you, it's randomized if you get a whole bunch or a little. But Uno Attack number 10, interesting. I mean, I know this is gonna, I'm gonna put this on Reddit where a whole bunch of board gamers Ooh. and then they say Uno Attack. I, I understand, but uh, it, it's the games that we play. It's, this ain't everything. Redditor. All right, my number 10, I feel it's bad to put it lower on the list, but um, at least in the, it's in the top 10 games. And that is Jamaica, oh, shit. Jamaica. I used to really love this game. It was like top five, seven, seven or higher. Jamaica is a pirate racing game. You should check it out if you're getting into board gaming. It's a good starter uh, board game. I remember when I was getting into this, this is one of the games that I bought and I'd recommend it for you. Uh, no solo mode, it's just two players, two to, two to six, I think. But you're pirates on a board around the island Jamaica. You just gotta race around. You may battle uh, if someone lands next to your ship. Uh, storage management it's just a ra kind of a racing game with points and a little bit of battle and uh, storage management but that is my number 10 jamaica all right number nine kevin you're number nine on the list all right number nine uh will be the dragon's gold dragon's gold number nine oh, yes sir that's pretty low for, oh. for us go ahead oh um, um the game is basically uh we fight dragons and it once we kill the dragons we earn diamonds and gold um, with Dragon's Gold, uh, let's see three. We have it right here. It's a little. That's our little tripod. A whole bunch of board games. It says three to six, and it's forty-five minutes. He's right. Uh, you got dragons on the car, little cards of dragons. 
Some have gold on them at the start. Mm -hmm. Some, uh, when you kill it, you're going to draw from the bag and it could be random ones. And that's what you yeah. get. Whoever was involved in the dragon fight, uh, they negotiate and it's, uh, was it 30 seconds or a minute? The, the hourglass? Oh. Uh, it? it's a minute. Yeah, a minute? I remember. You guys got to uh, decide before it goes No, out. what's it called? Uh, negotiate. Oh, yeah. And uh, this guy, if you guys play this game, the black gem is That's like 15 points. It's the, it's the most valuable one. This guy, every time we play mine. with him, uh, if he doesn't get it, he, he don't care. Like, uh, if you're negotiating <laughs> and not everyone's in on the deal, no one agrees, not everyone agrees, um, then the deal's over. No one gets nothing. And when the black black gem comes, this guy, it's either his or hell no, no one gets hey, no, take it no one gets one. nothing. But uh that is Dragon's Gold. Number nine? That's your number nine? Yeah. Uh, we got a Trulu. That's that is love. We when this game came, uh on the day it came, me and him played it in I think Nav or Kevin too. We played it and Oh fell in love. Uh it's cause uh I only played it like once once or twice. I never played it much. And... Oh, that's mine. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Go ahead. <laughs> but I think I'll I'll get it to like it more if I play it more because I I still need to understand how to play it. That's with me too. Uh, there's some games I'm like near the top where I think it's because uh, I haven't been playing them recently and they dropped. But what, what's your reaction to that? Dragon's Gold. Me and him. It's too low because it, it's a good game. Remember, these are games we only played. You're not gonna see. I know the I know the board game community. Uh, Seven Wonders and. Twilight Imperium, uh, Blood Rage, uh, we don't have those games yet, but these are just games we play, and we suggest you check them out, because uh, we do these top 10 because the games are fun, so hopefully you check Dragon's Gold, so you're number 9? Sheriff of Nottingham. Sheriff of Nottingham, number 9? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh. Explain. Uh, you're, uh, someone's, you have to trade, you have to get stuff? It's a pretty common game, maybe he doesn't have to describe it, but uh, you got bribery, oh, yeah. bluffing, Lying at times. Um, sometimes when you're the sheriff, you have to catch the BS in front of you. Um, this one, I don't know where it ranks on the BoardGameGeek.com, but it's it's a big one. This is one uh, a good party game. I think eight players at the max. Um, it's it's good. Down. We haven't played this in a while, and we're not going to play it today on our board game day. But it's uh, going down, boy. It's going down. No, yes, but it it's a good. I, I love mind games, bluffing, and all that. Sheriff's goal, Sheriff of Nottingham, I don't have to explain, but it to be good. Uh, it's a it's a good game if you don't even know it. And my number nine is uh, this was this was tough. It's tied with Jamaica, but it gets slightly better than Jamaica, and that is Marvel. Marvel, Marvel. Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game. Um, it's a bit better, you know. It, it, this is a smaller game right here. This is the game right here. And then Jamaica, you got this board, a whole bunch of cards and all that. Even though it's small, it's still a bit better. I just love the mind games in it, the memory. Uh, Thanos, he can win by getting the six stones, snap the finger, they're dead. Or he can kill the Avengers. The Avengers, they just have to kill him. But uh, if you don't know this game, this is a relatively new one I bought. Good party game. <clears throat> six players, I think. Or more. Something like that. Uh, just, just a good game. Uh, hands down, check it out. If you're getting into uh, board games, because it's small, cheap, and really good game. All right, so number eight, crawling up the list. Kevin's goal first, number eight. All right, my number eight favorite game um, will be uh, Card Against Humanity. Oh, okay. Party game. It's a party game. It's, it's fun, and it has, a, it has some humor. Um, and dark also, we, we have to answer the statements in order to... Yeah, dark, dark humor in this one. Whoever, uh, I think whoever gets the most votes for the most funniest, you win. It's a party game, uh, very low on the boardgamegeek.com. Like I said, you're going to see these common picks, Cards Against Humanity, Uno, Clue maybe. I don't know if that's on these guys' lists. I'm curious. Um, but with that one, uh, yeah, it's another common game, but it's on his number eight, right? We're on eight, yeah. yeah. Cards Against Humanity. So what's your number eight? Uh, Jamaica. Jamaica? Ooh, it's a bit higher. A bit higher than mine. Go ahead. Oh, I already described it, but You're why higher. is it? Or why, why is it number eight? Uh, too easy. Wait, nine and ten? Oh, so it's a light game? It is a light game. It's true. Um, that's why I said if you're getting into board games, it's a good starter game. But oh, no, uh, that's not light. It's too easy. It's too easy? It, it is light, though, as well. Um, what do you mean easy? Oh, yeah, because the last game we played, this is why it dropped number ten lower on the list for me. 
is because uh, the last game we played with him, I don't know if it was just luck or the, the dice rolling and his shuffling, but he, he, he did a whole lap hella, hella fast in uh, Jamaica, and it felt very quick. We didn't really get to do much. But uh, that's why I kind of dropped, because that game was very fast. I wish it was a longer game. But Jamaica, uh, what was your 9 and 10? What does it beat? Beat Sheriff and uh, Uno. Wow, beat Sh Jamaica beat Sheriff? Oh, ah, it's kind of criminal. Nah. Well, no, not to them. But, oh, no, 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 it is. It is criminal to them. But anyway, my number eight. My number eight is a game. We've been playing Clue, and um, I'm trying to think. We've been playing Clue, and then I bought another game, and it was much more advanced. And it's on the table, and that's Suspicion. A game of secret identity and deduction is what it says. I love deduction games. There's no mind games. Uh, the reason why it's, it could have been higher, but the reason it's not is because every game we play, it seems to be, uh, you can never hide your identity. Someone's always gonna know who you are. That's why it's, it, it feels like that always happens every game we play. Uh, this one is probably way low on the boardgamegeek.com, but uh, I think it's more advanced. It's, it's an advanced version of Clue, but this is one where if you, if you got a big party and you want something better than Clue, in my opinion, go ahead and go for Suspicion. It's a it's pretty light, easy to learn deduction game. And that is a number, my number eight, Suspicion. All right, number seven. Okay, I'm going to go first. All right. My number seven favorite game is uh, When I Dream. Oh, okay. It's pretty fun. Um, um, you have to wear a mask. And wear a, uh, I mean, a the sleeping mask. Yeah, the sleeping mask In thing. the game it comes with. Uh-huh. And then uh, one of the... Other people have to dis uh, describe what what's the dream. You get a card. Um, yeah, yeah, you get the I'm card. I'm surprised. Number seven. Yeah, number seven. Um, you only played it once or twice, huh? Like three times. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, but but so, I haven't played it like months ago. But. Yeah, but we will possibly play it today. Mm -hmm. uh, this was in my honorable mention. Um, That's pretty high. Interesting. When I dream. Um, quick description. Someone actually. It has a blind like a, it, come, it comes with a game. It's a sleeping little sleeping mask, and there's a card, and it'll say uh, like a meatball, and uh, what is it? One person's the Sandman, the other guy's an angel, and the other's uh, the Boogeyman or something. Yeah. The angel wants him, wants the dreamer to guess that right. Sandman he wants to balance it, so make sure uh, two wins and two losses. And then the Boogeyman you already know he wants to uh, like a meatball. You want to say uh, meat. meat. Like I don't know. You don't, you don't want to be too obvious that you're the boogeyman, but try to uh, make the guy fail in the dream. Then once you keep, once that dreamer keeps guessing the, the names, he has to remember all those words and put it in a sentence, like, uh, like in his dream, like, uh, when, I, when I was dreaming, I saw a meatball rolling over a mountain or something like that. So it's a really good, another party game, and it's an interesting one, it's pretty fun. Although it's only one round, like each player on the table has to dream with the mask, and that's it. Mm -hmm. It should be two rounds, but I feel like this goes too quick. But maybe you could do a little house rule and customize it every two rounds. But when I dream, his number seven. Yeah. Number seven? I love cats. I love cats. Okay, this is a new game. It came this year, I think, or last year. Uh, go ahead and describe it. Well, it's a draft game. That's it. Uh, I gotta carry for these guys. Yep. I love cats came this year. I think last year. Uh, and it's been going up the ranks for uh, boardgamegeek.com. It is a no, it's not. It, this is a drafting game. You got a board. You got a ship. You haven't played it, huh? No, never. Um, I think he'd like this because he likes Tetris a lot. And you get these cats on your uh, ship, and they're kind of like ta uh, Tetris. Uh, the way they lay down on the ship and all, they're kind of Tetris style shapes. And you just got a whole bunch of points. Uh, drafting. This guy loves hate drafting. If you know what that is. Um, I love it how the last game we played, you draft cards and they, they'll play, um, I don't know how to explain. You'll draft certain cards, like every blue cat's two points and all that. Where in the end game, it, it will make you, you know, someone think they won, but oh wait, I got this card. Every blue cat, two points, it will like double up at the end game. That's why I really love the Isle of Cats. It's ranking up, only four players. I wish it was a bit six. Could they have done six? But uh, drafting, we love drafting. Mm -hmm. um, and the whole Tetris style effect, I think he'd like it, but uh, we'll have to get in his hands one day. Can I you? can see it being in his top 10, guaranteed, next time. I'm kind of curious. 
Yeah. Another we'll place. We may play it today. We'll see. But out of cats is number seven. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I keep forgetting what number one. So my number seven is a game. It is already a little bit of a crossover, but not on the same list or not not the same number. Number seven is a game. I can't really like tease it, but it's Dragon's Gold. Number seven. Oh, shoot. This was the game where I made my list, but then I thought, oh crap, Dragon Dragon's Gold. I forgot. So uh, you would have seen uh, I forgot what other you would have seen Bang at number ten, but I forgot Dragon's Gold and it kind of bumped the other guys down. But Dragon's Gold, we already described it. Number seven, we need to play it more. That's why uh, in the last video we made, I said top five at least for a while. It, that's number seven now, but it's because we haven't played it in a while. But I love the. Um, Negotiation, I love the negotiation, but this guy does not make it fun when it, it's the uh, black gem. There's also, when you get the wizard and there's a red red gem, you take the red gem and you get a card. The cards, uh, we didn't talk about this, but the cards uh, totally change it. I had a card where it said, you may steal one gem if no one looks. If someone saw you, then the card's over. But I, I'll do in like some, I don't wanna, I don't wanna uh, blow away my strategy for that, but you can steal gems and then, there you go, no one saw you, there you go. But it lets you cheat in the game. I love that card. But that's my number seven, Dragon's Gold. Check it out. All right, number six. Go ahead. All right, my number six will be uh, the Oregon Trail. Oh, okay. It, it's fun, but also very difficult. It's uh, almost unfair. Uh, yeah, very unfair. Uh, I remember uh, playing this on a PC version. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The little Max mm -hmm. with the blue and black uh, colors. Uh, your goal is to to reach to the finish line, and there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of unfair Challenges, moments. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon Trail. Um, this is really low on the board game geek. Uh, I think. Uh, why do you like it? Is it just the the game? I just like the challenge charm? of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hard games are good. And speaking of hard games, it may appear on one of our lists. We'll talk about it later. Um, but the Oregon Trail. This is not on my list because it is very unfair. You get a card where. Um, instantly kills you. You can't do nothing about it. That's why I hate it. You kind of have to play with six players so you can survive. Mm -hmm. But the least we did was three players. And me and Kevin died. He died first right off the bat. Most of right the time, the yeah. Um, and there's nothing you can do. That's why I don't like it that much. It's fun, but I don't like the uh, how it, you, you'll hear certain games are hard. But this one is just unfair. Insta kill. You can't do nothing about it. It's stupid. But, um, Gotta be lucky, man. He died first. I died second, but then our third player uh, he made it to the end and he clutched it for us. It was really cool. But that is uh, Oregon Trail, the card game. Uh, maybe check it out. It's up to you. Look at reviews before you buy this one. Uh, we're going six. I keep forgetting. Six? Ooh. Yeah, six. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Oh, Suspicion. Suspicion? Wow, number six? Nope. Oh, was shit. this in your top ten last time? Nope. It went up. It went up. Dang. Go ahead, why? What about it? Well, oh, it's, it's, uh... we described it, but what about the game made it number six? That's, that's good. It's fine. That's it. Um, you have to be, uh, already said everything. Big brain when... Yeah, kind of. There's, there's so much strategy, but I feel like every game, that's why it went lower on the list. Every game you play, um, it seems like you can't hide your, your identity. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, Suspicion, me and him, we like uh, deduction, drafting, uh, and there's more genres that we'll talk about when it comes in the future. But that is his number seven. No, six, right? Six. Ah, Suspicion. That was my, uh, Eight, so we were two off from a crossover. Wait, do you guys think we'll have a crossover? One. One crossover? Mm -hmm. The last game we made, Uno Attack was our number eight, I think, or nine or ten. That was the only time we were all on the same page. I don't think we'll have a crossover, but we'll see. But my number six, speaking of, uh, his his number six was Oregon Trail, and it was a hard game. This is another hard game. And uh, it can feel unfair, but it's doable. It's more doable than Oregon Trail. You're not gonna insta-kill, can you guess? It's a hard game. Have you played it? We played it. Everyone here. Ghost stories. That's right. Ghost stories. Oh yeah. My number six. See, Oregon Trail. You flip a card. Boom. Dead. Oregon Trail. I mean, uh, Ghost Stories. You actually have a chance, but you're never in control. It's hard. Even playing on the easiest difficulty, it is still hard. I thought I beat it in solo, but I was playing wrong the entire time. And we've been playing wrong the entire time, but we never even beat Wu Fang. Um, this time, or whenever we play it. We're gonna play right, and we're gonna try to beat Wu Fang. Which, uh, uh, if you don't know Ghost Stories, it's hard. But um, look at reviews. If you think you're into it, play it. It has solo and up to four players. It's a hard game. That's why I, I do love hard games. Um, and that's my number six, Ghost Stories. All right, number five. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, 
You might, you guys might be surprised. Um, it'll saying? be Uno attack. Uh, okay. they're, they're not gonna like that, but yeah. go ahead. And I just like the simple one, the simple game. Um, basically, um, you have this uh, toy that, that shoots cards if if you don't have the match color, or you have to draw. Yeah. If you press a button, it'll shoot you cards. We we described this. Uh, was it? It was in number nine. Which one? Or someone else had Uno on their on their. I don't think oh, Uno's yeah. on mine. It was number ten. Yeah, Uno ain't on here. Uno Uno got that basic party game. Monopoly Uno, get that out of here in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> my opinion, but um. Come on, man. But Uno, uh, of course it's a different Uno, and it's gonna it has different cards like Wild, but you can press the button, you can split it one one for him, one for him, or just double down on the guy. Instead of draw two, it's press the button twice, and you can stack it the way we play. And then there's also a clutch card where if you have a whole bunch of yellows, you can just get rid of them all, which is pretty cool. But uh, Uno attack. You already know. But Uno attack, yeah. And then your number five? So I don't like forgetting. <laughs> number five. The big score. It, it, it's our opinions and all that. So big score? Yep. The big score number five. I, uh, let me see. Well, well, we'll get to that when we get to it. But go ahead. Uh, you basically uh, get cards. You draft. Drafting, yeah, yeah, drafting in it. And then after that, you do like jobs. Ready you, to get a certain type of something. You draft um, okay. certain characters and. Uh, for, for certain jobs, and you, you place them there and all that. Um, drafting, you can hate draft. He loves to hate draft. Not on that one, though. Not on that one. You, you kind of can't. Got to work together, kind of. Yeah, so semi co op, kind of. Kind of full co op. I'll admit, what's cool is the end. You get this board, this box board, and it's a vault, and everyone comes together. Um, and you, you reach your hand in there and you grab tokens. If, it's a, if you got something, well, if you got a police badge, you put it there. And depending on the players, like if it's three police badges, boom, you lost everything that you tried to steal in that mission right there. Um, or it's like other treasures and all that. It's like a push your luck, kind of randomize when you put your hand in the vault. It's pretty. That's pretty cool. Then you just dip out of there when you're ready. Um, this is not on my top ten. How do you feel about that? It's all right. Good opinion. I don't know where it ranks on the BoardGameGeek.com, but uh, it's a game that don't make it to the table that much. I don't really. I'll play it, but it's, I don't know, I'll play it, but it, whatever. So my number five is a new game. Oh. My number five is, um, so you know Jamaica, we're pirates on a ship. This oh. time we got cats on a ship, and that's Isle, the Isle of Cats. Uh, we already described it, drafting, hate draft. Uh, placing the, the cats on the board, it's really cool. When you get those cards that... But they will play at the end game. Someone will be like, I got a one. But then you got, boom, look at this. Every blue cat is triple points or something like that. And you'll completely obliterate their score. Um, and the reason I go that way is because uh, I did this to him last time. He won the first game. I won the second. Um, it's a good game. It's a new one. It's good. We're going to have to get this guy to play it. I think he'll like it. It'll be in his top ten next time. But every time we do these videos, we play like three to five games. Then we do it again. This time it was like seven to eight games. And it's been a long time since we did the, the first video. Mm -hmm. But I have cats, we described it. Check it out. It's a good game. All right, number four, we're getting close to the top three. Like I said, I don't think I said, but when we get to top three, we're going to guess our top threes all ways around. So number four, Kevin. All right, number four will be uh, Spot It. Wait, Spot It? What? What is that one? It's the one where you... It's like the circle can. Yeah, it's you like... Have uh, to, get, get to be fast, get to put it quick. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. the freaking... Yeah. Oh... Okay, go ahead. Wow, number four. Yeah, I like I like the game that's fast paced. So, it to be honest, I sometimes overthink sometimes. Um, different modes, a lot of different modes. It's a lot party yeah. game. Mhm. Mm it's a lot of fun because um, you just spot the 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 item or the picture. Yeah, the, there's different modes. Um, the one he's probably thinking of is uh, uh let me tell you. Sometimes you want the most cards or you get rid of it. They have a lot of modes. It's a good party game, very small. It comes in a can, circle can. Um, like three, two, one, look. And mm -hmm. you look at one card and you try to see like what matches. Sometimes yeah. you'll think, I have nothing. But then later down the road, oh, I have that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Not in my top 10, not even top 15. Uh, I don't, it's, it's a light game, easy to teach, good party. Eight players or it's, it's up there. 
but that's his number four. I'm wow, spot it number four. All right, number four. Oh, he hit the private spot with his phone. Number four. Dragon's gold. Dragon's gold. Uh, okay, yeah, top five. Okay, anything you want to add? We already uh, kind of described it. Mm, it's fun. The um, what's it called? Is it the uh, the negotiation that does it? Do you like it? The whole game. The whole game. Yeah, it's cool. Um, for people who have played it, we get into this mark the market phase. No one really trades. I'm not sure how to. I'm gonna try to trade next time, but we never trade. I'll have to try it. But Dragon's Gold, it's a game you gotta try. Guaranteed, Dragon's Gold. All right, I actually forgot to do my number four before we went. I went to the top three, but these guys stopped me. Thank you guys. Uh, my number four. This game was a <clears throat> a big game. I loved it, and it feels bad to bring it down, but it's still in the top ten and top five. And that's Sheriff of Nottingham. He used to be my number one all the time. I just loved everything about it. Uh, the bluffing, lying, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the mind games and uh, everything with it. I, I love Sheriff so much, but then it just dropped. There are three games. Like I said, when you play new games, the, other go the others are gonna get passed to the side, but maybe because we haven't played it in a while, but Sheriff Nottingham, uh, nothing to add. Everyone knows what it is. So I don't have to describe much, but uh, number four, it feels really bad. When I was making this list, I, I felt really bad to put it at number four. It was really hard, but uh, who knows, maybe it could go up, but it's still in the top five for now. So number four, Sheriff of Nottingham. All right, top three games before we do, before he says number three, we're gonna guess his number three, kind of see who, who guessed the, the most and all that. So you wanna go first? What, what, what's his top three? I'll go first. No. All right, I think, uh, well, I just wanna say, I, he has uh, this, I had a lot of guesses for Kevin. Uh, your number four was it Uno? What was your number four? No, it's number five. Oh, Uno was five. Yeah. So I, I really wanted to add an extra. I thought his number uh, three or four was going to be Uno, but uh, his number three I think is going to be King of Tokyo. What about you? I put four cell. Four cell number three. Okay. Try not to have a reaction if someone guesses guesses it right. But uh, go ahead. What is your number three? Oh shoot. Uh, my number three will be King of Tokyo. Oh, I got it right. Oh shoot. Okay. I'll just put a check. But I got it right. All right, go ahead. Good King stuff. Of, it's the first time that we have King of Tokyo on this list. Go ahead. Yeah. You play as the giant monsters. Um, your goal is to to stay in the, the Tokyo building. Um, you have to kill uh, kill all the monsters. Um, other players. Uh, other <laughs> yeah. players in, in order to win. And while you're staying in Tokyo, then... There's, there's always different strategies. Uh... Uh, you could stay in Tokyo, and then when it's a whole round, you get two points, star points. I think points is the boring way to win. You gotta fight, but what, every time I play this game, I seem to lose to these guys. These guys are good. Um, and it's not in my top ten. It was in the past, but not anymore. Because, uh, well, I'm not going to say anything, but um, King of Tokyo, is a, is this was the first game I bought. You, you play Uno Monopoly, but when you get into board games, I researched, and King of Tokyo was the one that stood out, and it was the first game I bought that I consider uh, getting into the hobby, and it was King of Tokyo, um, but it is fun. We haven't played five to six players, which you have that other side of the board, uh, Tokyo Bay, but King of Tokyo is a good uh, kind of party party game, um, good fighting, Yahtzee style rolling on the dice, uh, but check it out. If you're getting into the hobby, King of Tokyo may be one to consider. So then we're going to guess his number three. Uh, I think his number three is, um, wait, so... Okay, so with him, I thought it was a tie. I thought it was something else, which I'll say after. I thought his number three was the big score, but it was number four or five. Uh, which one was five. it? It was number five. Okay, so I got it wrong because I he really likes that game. But I think this one is much better. I think his number three is the same as Kevin's, King of Tokyo. And then what do you think his number three is? Uh, to be honest, I I thought he likes a uh, Memoir Forty Four. Memoir Forty Four. Okay. Yeah. So what do you, what's your number three? Mm, four four. Remember our forty four? Oh shoot! Ooh. Oh shoot! In the top three, yeah. This this yes, game. Sir. Uh, this is another game. Once you play more into other board games, Memoir forty four hands down is a game you have to play. Uh, you got actual soldiers on the battlefield, tanks, artillery. You should already know it's a classic game. Uh, why is it number? Wait, number three? Okay, nope. number three. Why is it number three? Top three best. That's it. Nope. Get nothing else. Well, uh, what's your favorite scenario? Your favorite war battle from the official book. The beach one, what's it called? Sword Beach? I think. 
I'm not sure. But yeah, we've been playing Memoir 44 and it's a good game, hands down. A lot of awards at one. Uh, it's in the top 50 in the Board Game Geek. So that's like all at all time. If you know the Board Game Geek, it's out of all the board games out there, it was like up there in the top 50. That's because it's a it's a simple, easy to learn um, board game. And it just works. It's it, it, very fun. Um, very, very fun board game. Uh, so yeah, your number three is Memoir 44. All right, now time for my top three board games. These guys are going to guess it. What's my number three? Um, for for number three, I think uh, sheriffs. Okay, I already said sheriff, but yeah. if, if you try to guess, then what do you think my number three is? Paper tells. Paper tells. All right, my number three is a game where uh, yeah, I can't tease it. It is Memoir Forty Four. Uh, so we have the same, right? So we have crossover. Number this is your number three. So we have crossover. Um, this guy hasn't said it yet, but I know he likes the game, so it's coming soon here. But uh, Memoir 44, we already said how, what we had to say. Simple, you gotta buy it. If you get into to, um, board gaming, Memoir 44, there's a whole bunch. Maybe we'll say it at the end. There's some good games to get, out, get into, but uh, Memoir 44 is my number three. All right, now we'll go into the number two. Things are getting tight, tighter and tighter for the, whoever's the best crown game in our opinion. Kevin's gonna go first, but we're gonna guess his number two. I think his number two is the Oregon Trail, but he already said it. I just thought that he would, he likes the game, he really likes it. What do you think his number two is? KOT. King of Tokyo, okay, what is it, Kevin? Um, the answer is for sale. Wow. Yes, oh, all the year. Okay, we'll, we'll talk after. Um, so go ahead, for sale. Uh, you bid the, uh, the highest prices of the houses. Uh, certain houses get flipped up and then people mm -hmm. players bid and that's it and then um and then once uh at, at the final round um you count how much um how much total do you have for the house that the cart all the cards that you have yeah there's a house phase where you bid on property mm -hmm. and then another phase where um you use that property to get the biggest check to, to get the most out of your money um this is another game. I think uh, King of Tokyo, and then this was my next game for sale. Light game. Uh, it says three. To, this is on our stand as well. Three to six players. Twenty to thirty minutes. Maybe with more players, but with this, this can go fast, like fifteen minutes. Uh, but this is another game to consider. It's too a fun, e really fun. Easy. It's a fun game. Um, it is light. It's easy. Uh, it's an auctioning. Yeah, auctioning. No drafting. Kind of drafting. You just have to win the auction, and you can kind of up players and all that. It is um, big brain. Yeah, it's, it's a fun game. So, uh, number two for sale for Kevin? Yeah. All right. Now we're going to guess Marco's number two. Everyone, you should know what's up to. Um, I'm surprised with him. He hasn't mentioned one game. But we'll, get, we'll get to I, it. I know, I know which one it is. Um, but I think your number two is Dragon's Gold, but you already said it, huh? I didn't guess. Oh. Yeah, I already guessed it. Wait, what, what, what do you think his number two was? Uh, King of Tokyo. All right, what is it? King of Tokyo. It is? <laughs> wow, number two? I got it right again. Just what was it last time? Number two. It was last time? Wow. Um, yeah, I I think when we started doing these hangouts, I brought King of Tokyo, and these guys loved it. It's not in my top ten. I don't know what to say. Uh, Come on, man. I don't know what to say, though. Anything you have to add? Why is it number two? I'm a beast. Yeah, he always wins. I think if he wins, he... Nah. It's a good game to... Is that true? Jamaica, I always win. I have the most wins, but I don't know. But it's lower? Yep. Um... I'm a freaking idiot. What was it? What, King of Tokyo? Uh, King of Tokyo. We already described it. I have bad memory, but um, King of Tokyo, like I said, when you do board gaming, King of Tokyo is one of the starters to get. All right, now, my number two, what do these guys go ahead and guess? I, I, it's going to be paper tells, but I put, uh, put memoir. Memoir? And then I, I think I already, let me see. That's memoir me. was number three. That's going to be paper tells. I know you mentioned one of your top is... Um, I think it was uh, Dragon's Gold. Number two? Yeah, for number two. It's PT. Okay, I already said uh, Dragon's Gold was number seven, and then... Yeah. Watch. Uh, Paper Tells? No, I... Put... Number two? My number two? No, Paper for, Tells? For your two, it's Memoir. But I know it's Paper Tells. Go ahead. So, it's between those two you're saying? Okay, so I already said Memoir, but he thinks it's Paper Tells. That's another game. My number two is... 
I don't want, if I tease it, they're going to know. It is very high in the uh, boardgamegeek.com. Nemesis. Really? It's a new what? game. Nemesis. We only played, yeah, that's what he's saying. We only played, we only played um, two games. But this game is the heaviest game I own, meaning uh, wait, weight wise as well. And um, uh, learning ability. Like, there's a lot of stuff you have to learn. When I was playing solo the first time, I always had to go to the rule book. But this game, made by Awaken Realms, uh, this is not for starters. No, you get into it, get into board gaming, look up Nemesis. It's a little hard to get. I got lucky with mine. Um, watch out for the scam websites. Uh, but a Nemesis, a game where you wake up. Well, they have a, a solo co-op and then the main mode, which is a semi-co-op, because you have objectives, and maybe you have to kill a certain player. It's, it's like it's got that us. Among Us type, sus type stuff. Sus, but, sus. Um, this game just got it. Played two games. It's not even disrespect. Disrespect this guy in the comments. Not even in his top ten. He hasn't played it yet, so give him a break. Um, give me a break. It takes too long. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't have to describe it because it's such a good game. You already know it. But Nemesis look into it it's the fact that i really love games where it's the players versus the board game and that's if you play co-op and this one it's we're kind of working together but we have to worry about the aliens and some of my stamina's in the back and all that um everything the aliens the betrayal there's a light drafting part at the beginning that's not even drafting um everything on nemesis but it didn't make number one because i think it could make number one but i haven't played it that much um, you gotta check Nemesis if you don't know. So that's my number two, Nemesis, fully deserved. All right, here we are, the top game. Remember, these are games that only we played, so you're not gonna see, you know, I already explained it, but number one, we're gonna guess Kevin's, here we go. Mm -hmm. I think Kevin's number one. He hasn't mentioned it yet. Uh, mm -hmm. I showed every picture that we played. Hang on, someone's here. We're gonna have to uh, maybe stop here in a second. All right, number one, the top board game. Kevin, well, we're gonna guess Kevin, so I mean, we actually have a guess. He's behind the camera now, but we're just gonna keep going here. So number one, I thought it was number one. He hasn't mentioned it yet on the list. Uh, I put here, uh, it was his number seven last time. So I guess we did play it in that last video. But number one, I think his number one is Memoir 44. What do you think? You are Memoir 44. <laughs> what is number one? Uh, Memoir 44. I got it right. Yeah. Where you described it. Um, uh, what's it, this one? Okay, I was thinking, he hasn't mentioned it yet, so I guess it was the number one. I think there's a game he's missing. I'm surprised not on his list, but I can't think. Um, now we're gonna do Marco's number one. Everyone it knows. is Everyone obvious. Uh, he loves the game all the time. I think his number one is For Sale. What do you think? Uh, for number one? Yeah, For Sale too. What is it? It's For Sale. We have it on our tripod thing. The reason he likes it why? It's because he wins? No. It's because he always wins. He always wins, yeah. Uh, the guest we have today actually beat him once, so I'm curious to see if he can beat him again. Um, are you trying to look at my list? I can't look at my list. It's off. Um, but he likes it because he wins. He's no, a mastermind. If there was a tournament, no, this guy would win because he's, he's really good uh, uh, for sale. But check it out. We're getting into the hobby. For sale is a game to check out. So, And now to end it all, my number one game. You're Go doing. ahead and try and guess it. It's easy. Honestly, I don't, I'm not having a hard time uh, with your like top two, one. If you have like two or three, you can try and guess them. I know which one. I think it was number 44. Okay, that was my number three. Yeah, number three. Yeah. All right. It is <gasps> Street Fighters. Okay, and then you had, uh, uh, you had multiple Fighters guesses? Too. Or, yeah, or Street Fighters too. That's because he said it though. Okay. Yeah. My number one is a game made by a YouTuber, Angry Joe, and that's Street Fighters the Miniatures game. This is number one because the strategy, all the characters, um, the mind you can mind game. There's no drafting, but uh, this is this was the mix up. It was Nemesis or Street Fighters. It was very hard. I think if I play more Nemesis, um, it's going to be number one possibly. But Street Fighters, how is it on any of your lists? I played with both of them. They're not even top ten. How? Mm. Um, the reason. The characters, the actual miniatures. I wish I could show you right now, but I don't. Well, I'll pop up videos and pictures of each game we talk about. But the strategy, the characters, the mind games, everything. But you can combo. The combos is so... I love the satisfaction of getting the combos. Um, that's my number one, Street Fighters. And hopefully, I don't know, Nemesis. 
Sheriff was up there in the past. Now we got Street Fighters. But uh, that was our top ten. Any comments before? Uh, <laughs> no comments. No comments. <laughs> um, uh, you know, every time we do these videos, it's like three to five board games, and then we do it again. Maybe we'll have someone else next time in these videos. We'll see. But uh, this has been Randoms. Kevin. Kev, he has Kev Nation. I'll put his uh, channel link in the description. Uh, Overlord. Overlord, Marco. Uh, maybe his channel. It's up to him. And the link in the description. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.